Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and since a lot of my tutorials are based or something related with Photoshop, I thought I'd just make a little beginner guide for you guys who do not know how to use Photoshop and are new to Photoshop. So I'm using this as an example, so I'm going to do a lot of things with this. So the first thing I didn't know when I just started Photoshop was what the hell is on the left side and what the hell is on the right side because those are, you know, taking up most of the space. So here is just to drag and, you know, move layers and stuff. So here, let me just select it and I can move it. It's pretty simple. Um, here, this is, you can select and delete it, but you can't right now. First, you have to rasterize the layer, so just press this. Right click on the layer and press rasterize, and now you can delete it. And control Z to uh, undo, and control D to deselect. So here, let me just control D, okay? This, right here, it just selects, you know, anything you want. So it's a quick selection tool. So if I want to select, you know, this guy's head, something. And then I can press Control Copy, which controls, which is Control C. And then I can delete it, and then paste it, and then it'll be back there in another layer. I kind of, you know, rushed it, and that's why his eyes off. So just Control Undo, Control D, and we're good. Um, this isn't really important. This is just, you know, cropping and stuff. You, you pretty, I'm pretty sure this is pretty self-explanatory. This is just to uh, select any color you want. So maybe there's a color you can't find in the swatches. Um, all you have to do is just press it and then it'll appear. So here, it's right there. And then, yeah. And then here, this is like a kind of, you know, if you need patching anything, you know, if you were, you know, making anything like trying to edit your face or something, you know, this is more of a portrait type thing. I don't think you guys would need that if unless you're doing that. Here, this is the brush. Also self-explanatory, um, it's just a brush. Here you can choose the size of how much it covers. So I'll show you guys here. And you can choose, you know, how soft it is, how hard it is, you know, what type of brush you use. So here you can select the color. So let's select dark blue. And then just, you know, you can paint and stuff. Yeah. So next is, this is, um, you don't need this. These are not really important. You can clone stuff, but you know, not really important. Here's the eraser tool, you know, it's pretty easy. And magic eraser tools are really helpful, especially for me since I do, you know, t tutorials and stuff. So what this does, it just removes the background and, it, you know, it just removes it. Like, it's as simple as that. It's kind of similar to um, this quick select tool, but it removes the background. And here you have to choose it manually. This does it by itself, or you can just use the normal eraser and just erase it and stuff. Here, this is the gradient tool. So what you want to do is just, you know, choose your color gradient and just do that. So here you can choose the color. You can choose the opacity and all that stuff. And yeah, you can change whatever color you want. So if I did that, I can just, you know, make a really small line right here and up here. And what's next? A blur tool. You can smudge stuff, sharpen stuff. You know, that's self-explanatory. Uh, here's the text tool. So it just... A text tool and pretty simple so here you can just choose you know how sharp if it's soft if it's crisp you know type of layer uh, type of um text here if I type in like Steven and something let me show you guys Steven make it bigger and that's pretty simple I'll just type in how big you want it and then one thing not a lot of people know when just starting out on um, Photoshop I've just noticed it you know a couple months ago here just press this this here, there's a lot of warp styles. You can make like an arc. You can make uh, like a bulge out, like a fish eye effect. It's really cool if you guys are making like posters or anything. And I've gotten, I've gotten like great marks in school because of this. Uh, here, this is just rectangle um, round. It's just a shape. So here, you just make a rectangle. It's as simple as that. And here, you can make it a fill. The fill is what colors inside, and the strokes like the border. You can show how big the border is by just changing here. So just press on this and you can drag how big it is. So yeah, control Z this, control Z this here. Okay. So yeah, this is magnifying glass. So here you can just you know, click on it and magnify in or out. But one thing I notice is if you just drag your like, if you hold and drag, you can just drag in and drag out. It's like pretty easy. Um. So yeah. And that's it for the left side here. There's like a lot of things called adjustments. So what this does is just make it brighter, you know, better high contrast and stuff. 
So yeah, you can see it's brighter and stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory as well. Here, there's levels. Um, not really important if you're just a beginner. Here, you can change exposure and stuff. You can mess around with it. I'm sure you'll get used to it. One thing I use the most out of this is either black and white. You can just make it black and white like that. Or you can make it maximum black and white, which will just make it even darker. Um, it works in some cases. It, it makes it really look good in some cases. Some photos, not so much. Here, one thing I use the most is hue and slash saturation. You just change the color. And you can see me doing it in a lot of my tutorials. And you can also change to how like strong the colors are, you know. And yeah, that's it for the right side. And yeah, you can choose channels, paths, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of things with layers, like a lot of shortcuts. So one shortcut I found out is if you press control or like shift, like here, press control and press both of them at once and press control E, it joins together. So there's not like one layer, or two layers. And if you press control, if you select, so if you press control and press control on this and press control G, it makes a group. And so it's still there. It's just in a group to, you know, organize it a bit. And then one thing I want to teach you guys is how to center pictures because that's a lot of a lot of time I do that where I center like uh, text and stuff. So here, let me just type in a bob or something. Here, as you can tell, it's not in the center. So all you have to do is select on the text layer, press Control A, that's Control All, and then press on the Select tool. And here, you can press this, this fifth option here, and just center it. And this one will center in the middle. And press Control D, and that's how I center all my stuff. And for the layers, you can change the opacity. Uh, you can change the fill. And here, you can also do something really cool here. You can change the type of style it is, so you can make it really soft, light. If there's more than one layer, it um adds a really cool effect. It kind of blends in. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I think I covered a lot of stuff. Tons more to discover on Photoshop. It's just a matter of you know getting used to it, and let's hit 50 likes. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.